When you think of server commands, you probably think of whisper, warp, weather, home, or similar commands. You should know that these commands didn't really come with vanilla Minecraft. These commands that we've all come to know and love have arrived via mods or server plugins. Essentials is just that, the original server plugin that invented and defined what commands are today. Essentials X is a revival of sorts, bigger and better than ever, with 131 commands in total, not counting aliases those commands may or may not have, also not counting the many other functions it serves. The first step when installing plugins like this is to make sure that your server jar is on a compatible version. Essentials X uses Spigot with its jar. You can check this on the Plugins tab when installing. Down in the jar selection, go ahead and select the version of the spigot that you want after checking if it corresponds with the version of Minecraft that you want to use. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead, stop the server, and then save. Once all that's said and done, go ahead and head to the plugins list. Once you're there, make sure that you search for Essentials X. Once it pops up, go ahead and take a look at the versions that are available to you. We're going to be using 1.12. And these are all of the versions that are compatible with 1.12 of Spigot. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we select that one. You're going to go ahead, click that, and then install. Once that's installed, head back to the Multicraft main page. Now below the video, I've listed the CI.EnderZone web page that has a few jars for you to download. All of these are optional, except for the first one, the plain essentials jar. What these jars do is enable settings that you will be able to configure later on. If you're not too sure on what jars to upload, chat, protect, and spawn are good options. Make sure to download at least the Essentials jar, or else Essentials won't function the way you want it to when you launch your server. Back on the main Multicrap page, we're going to head to FTP File Access, Login. Now once we're on the FTP page, we're going to want to make note of the Plugins folder. And then we're going to want to head to upload. We're going to directory point these files to the plugins folder. And then we're going to make sure that we get our jars and drag them over to here. Once these are fully uploaded, you'll be able to adjust them from the configuration files on the main Multicraft page right here. When you head over to the configuration files, you'll see that all of your jars are editable from here at least the ones that you've put into the plugins folder. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, we're going to go ahead and restart our server. If you head over to console, you'll be able to check on the progress of your world. As you can see, the two jars that we put in there were enabled. And of course, after all that hard work, you're going to go ahead and hop into your server. Essentials has been enabled. You can see that on the left part of my screen. Below the video are a few links with commands and downloadable file extensions for your server. You can set groups for certain players, so admins and players could have different sets of commands. You can create an economy, set anti-build protection, signs, cooldowns, and much, much more. You can check out a full list on the tutorial section of their wiki. And if you need any more jar files, you can also grab those. Let's go over what we did today. We installed the correct spigot jar, installed the correct version of Essentials X as a plugin, and then we installed the jars that we needed for Essentials X to run properly. And then we restarted the server. Thanks for watching, and thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.